before starting the video please subscribe the channel like the video and share it thanks so coming to the live case and taking the real time section of the fetal head you can see the hypothalamic plane that is the triangular structure for the measurement of the bipedal diameter so you can see, see the arrow shaped structure that is the hypothalamic plane there is midline echo and on both side there is hypothalamus now for the vibrator diameter you have to take the diameter from one parietal bone from the outer side to the other end of the parietal bone on the inner side this show the measurement of the y parietal diameter after taking this y parietal diameter we have to see what structure should not be seen in this measurement or in this section there should not be any ossification of the sutures bone should be complete and there should not be lateral ventricular seam in this section hypothalamus should be seen and there should not be cerebellum in this section so this is the transthyramic plane now we will locate the k1 that show the forehead this is the k1 that is also a triangular or rounded structure you can see this k1 and now we will just locate the transventricular plane that is a little bit down the transthalamic plane the k1 show the forehead and on the opposite side there is occiput now i'll just try to locate the k1 uh, transventricular plane this is the transventricular plane this is this is cavity like structure that is the lateral ventricle you see the cursor it is the ventricular plane that is the lateral ventricle this is the anterior horn and this is the posterior horn in the ventricular plane there are choroid fluxes that secrete the cerebrospinal fluid and this fluid is secreted in the 14 to 16 week if there is ventricular megaly we can appreciate this on transventricular plane the normal ap diameter of the lateral ventricle should not exceed 10 it's about 7 to 8 that is quite normal so this is the lateral ventricle plane no we will focus on the trans cerebellar plane we will just try to focus on the cerebellum cerebellum sometimes help to calculate the age of the fetus in early weeks of pregnancy now look at this we are just trying to focus on the cerebellum in the occipital region now we will like to measure its diameter it's about 34 33 34 32 it is the rough estimation of the fetal age no i like to focus on the third ventricle 
that is the slit like structure in the trans thalamic plane this cursor show the third ventricle if it is dilated more than 2 mm then we will label it as ventriculo megaly it is just behind the k1 you can see the k1 as well in this plane fourth ventricle is difficult to see no we like to see the cisterna magna that is a space between the cerebellum and the occipital bone look i have focused on the cisterna magna that is an echoic shadowing and i will like to measure it it should not cross the 9 mm in this case it's about 6 to 7 mm you should know how to measure it this is the way to measure the cisterna magna we will not like to measure it in longitudinal direction but in the transverse direction space between the cerebellum and the inner table of the occipital bone no sometimes you see the overlapping of the suture that is a sign called as spodling sign it is sometime present in the dehydration and hypovolemic condition and if you see that fetus is dead and there is spodling sign it show that 24 hour has been passed since the fetus is dead so this is an important sign of dehydration thanks for watching this video if you like the video please give a like and subscribe our channel so that you can get the notification of the new video please share the video on the social media thanks